Hey, what is going on? It's Ace Ezra Gaming, and today, wait, wait a second. What's going on here? This is not my channel. Where's Rogue Nine? Ah, uh, I think I remember. He had a little accident, and he won't be joining us until next round. Op four eliminated all friendlies. So for now, I'll be your substitute team captain and help you recruits out with a few tips and tricks to help you have the upper hand in Rainbow Six Siege. Rainbow Six Siege is a competitive terrorist versus counter-terrorist game. Unlike Call of Duty and the other blind copies of first-person shooters, you have one life. This adds a specific tactic element to the game. You need to look before you leap. First thing is first, you need to get an operator. You get renowned points by playing competitive matches, terrorist hunts, and playing through situations. Here's a hint, if you're lazy like me, watch the tutorials. You get a total of 800 renowned points. The good news is that you can skip the video and still get the points. When it comes to your operator, you have to pick someone that fits your personality and your playing style. I chose IQ as my first counter-terrorist and I chose Doc as my first terrorist operator. I like to take things really slow and utilize the time on the clock. With IQ, I'm able to see devices and traps through walls and neutralize them without the risk of breaching the room. With Doc, I'm able to help myself up and my teammates up if we're downed and need to be revived. Even though everyone has their own playing style, I suggest equipping your counter-terrorist with a silenced weapon and your terrorist with an unsilenced weapon. The silencer dampers your weapon's damage, but it keeps your shots quiet and less likely to attract the others in the area. When it comes to terrorists, you're only equipped with SMGs and shotguns. SMGs are more or less pack less of a punch, but have a high fire rate. To me, it makes no sense to add a silencer to an SMG. You need that firepower to be able to stop the counter-terrorists dead in their tracks. When it comes to the counter-terrorists, or what we like to call Team Rainbow, you always need to have the element of surprise. This means the moment that your drone spawn starts searching for the bombs, secure zones, or hostage. When you find your objective, do not even think about infiltration. Your new objective is to take out all the cameras on the outside. You never know if Big Brother is watching. Take the time to infiltrate through the path of least resistance. For example, if the bomb's in the basement, take the time to enter through the top floor and vice versa. As for the terrorists, the first thing you want to do is set up your barbed wire, then your walls, then your doors. What I like to do is stay on a different floor and lurk. Remember, just because you're a terrorist, it doesn't mean that you too cannot use the element of surprise. Use everything you are supplied with. That includes cameras, jammers, shockers, and so on. And there you have it. Those are my top tips to keep you on your toes. Rainbow Six is a team-based game. Make sure you utilize communication and teamwork. When it comes to it, never be negative and try not to be a lone wolf. I'd like to thank Rogue9 for letting me post on his channel. If you like this video, make sure you mash that like button. And press the subscribe button right here. If you would like to see more of my in-depth breakdowns to games such as Counter-Strike or Rainbow Six, please check out my channel. See you guys when you turn pro. Thanks for watching and have a good one.